Hi, YouTubers, Bill Griffith here. Uh, in my previous series of videos, I showed you how to build a pizza ordering process with BPM on cloud. I showed you how to get the pizza prices from ODM, how to hook in uh, IBM Watson uh, to do sentiment analysis. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is show you a new offering that IBM has for robotic process automation, RPA. IBM resells Automation Anywhere's RPA solution, which can automate pieces of the process uh, that BPM is orchestrating. So if you recall in this uh, simple example, I created a pizza order uh, form, web form, uh, to place orders. So business is going well, and uh, one of the things that we get is we get some customers that want to send us a bulk or order of pizzas in a spreadsheet something like this okay and so what we're gonna do is extract each of these uh, columns from the spreadsheet and use it to fill in the pizza order page the form uh, now obviously you could go into BPM and modify this to do multi-line items uh, but sometimes you don't have that choice if you're a business person you don't have the ability to uh, go change the code of an existing application. Uh, and so to get something done quickly, sometimes it's just easier to, to automate uh, this manual process uh, with a software robot. And that's what we'll do now. Okay, so I'm gonna close out the browser here and start from scratch. So I go over to my tools. I have Automation Anywhere installed. I log in and then I'm gonna do a screen record so or a web record I'm actually going to record my interaction with a website uh, and then Automation Anywhere will give me the steps that it recorded so I can replay them so I'm going to start with my location of my business process process the pizza ordering process that I did in demo one so I'm going to say start I can close this and now it's pulling up the page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click into the field, just as if, and it's recording right now, as you see the web recorder, I'm gonna type in my login details, and I'm gonna click the continue button. Now BPM on cloud is uh, integrated with identity management uh, using SAML, so it's gonna pass me over to our identity manager and I'm going to log in there. I'm going to click here and enter my password. And then I'm going to click the sign in button. Okay, and so now I'm logged in. Uh, and now I'm going to extract, I'm going to loop through this spreadsheet and get the orders and the quantities. So uh, this application was written as an example uh, last year, uh, and it doesn't do multi-line items. It doesn't do quantities. Uh, so imagine that you have a system that, you know, isn't designed the way that you want. But what I can do is take this four and create four separate orders. Uh, and that's what we'll do to just demonstrate how we can process this spreadsheet uh, and automate uh, other applications using uh, this dynamic data. So I'm going to stop the recording here because I just want to record those first steps and then I'll show you how to insert variable data into the uh, automation. Okay, now I'm going to go into edit and now you see the steps that it used to log in, right? It recorded those steps for me and in fact, you can close the browser and then replay them. So just like that, it logged back in. It recorded what I did and then logged me in. Now I could interact with the web page and have it record all of that uh, as well. So very easy for business people uh, without programming experience to do uh, simple automation like that, simple uh, screen recording uh, and interaction. Now in this case, I'm going to automate um, a spreadsheet. So I need a little bit more 
uh, scripting capabilities, loops, and, and if statements, and some variables. Um, and I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so we're logged in. And now after I've logged in, uh, the first thing I want to do is read this spreadsheet. So I'm going to drop it here on the canvas. And I'm going to point to where that spreadsheet is. So it's on my desktop right here. OK. Uh, if you recall from the spreadsheet, the first line is a header row. So I'm going to tell it to ignore that first row. And the separator is common delimited. So I'm going to do OK. And you see it automatically created a loop for me. So it's going to loop through each, each um, each record. And so what I want to do is parse each of those columns and insert it into the form. So let's do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an object cloning, drag it inside of the loop, and I do refresh. I want to tell it which window to capture. So it's the current window that I'm in. And then I'm going to click the capture and hold it down. And I'm going to go over here and capture the pizza ordering process. Then I let go, and you see that uh, Automation Anywhere captures that um, HTML element. So I'm going to say click it, and then I'm going to say save. All right, so now let's do that here. So I start at the process, and this is the pizza process uh, from before. Very simple, straightforward. Uh, now I'm going to go back over here and enter the data. So I'm going to grab another object cloning, drag it onto the canvas, refresh my window, grab my place order window, I'm going to capture, let go in the pizza type field. Then I'm going to set the text. And in here, I can hit, as you see here, F2. So I'm going to hit F2. And it pulls up this list of variables, a bunch of system variables. And one of these system variables is the file data column. Double click that. And that's going to be my column, my first column of my spreadsheet. Right? So column 1. So if I put column 1, that's going to be the pizza type. So I put it in here. I enter a 1. I hit OK. And then I do save. All right, do it again. Refresh. Step. Click and hold. Let go. Set the text. Hit F2. Type F. Insert. Column 2. and then do OK. OK, so I won't bore you with watching me type the rest of these in. I will just paste in from previous. So you'll see, one thing you see is I'm missing column 3, because that's actually the quantity. That's going to create a loop for me. But right now, I just enter all the data that's in the spreadsheet. So the problem is that, again, let me show you the spreadsheet. is if they need four pizzas uh, in my web page, I need to enter this four times with all of this information. So what I need to do is um, create another loop inside of each row that's going to process each pizza, uh, each quantity of the pizza. So to do that, I need a variable. I'm going to add a variable here. I'm going to call it my loop index. And I'm going to set it to zero to start. Now, all of these steps on clicking the, the link, right? Clicking this, this link to start the process and entering all this data needs to be done for every order. So, therefore, I need this loop. Where's the loop? To be at the top. I'm going to add a loop up here at the top. 
and it's going to be on a variable. I'm going to loop on the variable. I'm going to hit F2 and choose my loop index. So while the loop index is less than column 3 of my spreadsheet, which is again file, data, column 3. And I'm going to save. So you see that created a loop for me that loops through my loop index until it gets to the quantity that it found in the spreadsheet. Take all of these, so just pick them up and move them in here. I've moved them inside of my loop. And then I need to increment my loop index. I'm grab a variable here. Put it down here at the bottom of my loop. I'm going to select a variable, loop index, and it's going to be F2, loop index, plus 1. Now, at the end of each row, I my loop could be higher. So I'm also going to make sure that it's always clean by setting the loop index to start at 0. Always good to initialize variables and make sure you know what they are. Okay, and so after I've entered in all this data, I need to push the OK button. So let's do that. For this, I'm going to use the Web Recorder, Manage Web Controls, drop that in here, I'm going to select the page that I'm currently on. I'm going to do capture. You go down here and click it. And then do save. Okay, so now I need to wait for this window. I'm going to wait for it to close. <clears throat> Choose the current window. Displace. Order, and let's wait for 10 seconds and do save. I can close my browser and now I can test things out. Click the run button. Now it launches the browser, logs in, finds the link, fills out the order. Click the OK button. Waits. Creates the next order, which is a duplicate of the previous because the quantity was four. Now we got three pizzas. Actually, one was created earlier in the while I was building it. So now it's got all of those, and you'll see now it's on to the veggie, extra large, right? And it'll create four of those. And on and on it goes. So that quickly built an automation, automate manual task uh, that don't require a lot of cognitive capability or uh, uh, knowledge working uh cognition to figure out what to do. We're just copying and pasting types of data into the form. So a perfect example where RPA uh, can accelerate your uh, digital process automation uh, programs and uh, projects. Thank you.